All right, what's up? I want to tell you the search engine that I definitely recommend. I've been using it for a long time. Uh, it definitely, I mean, it's much better than using Google. Uh, but it even has the edge over stuff like DuckDuckGo. I know a lot of people use DuckDuckGo, but here is the main problem when using search engines. Let's go ahead and get this out, okay? Um, you never really know what DuckDuckGo is running on their server. We just have to trust them about a lot of the stuff they say about privacy. And in fact, that's sort of the case no matter what uh, when we're dealing with a search engine. You sort of just have to trust them. Now, the best case scenario, though, is this search engine called Cirques. And not only is it basically the best for your privacy, or you know, one of the best at least, there might be something that does something similar, but uh, Cirques is also, it has fantastic features. It does lots of crazy stuff that really gives it the edge. So first off, here's the thing about Cirques. Okay, Cirques is a free software. Actually, I pulled up a Cirques search of Cirques. Uh, that's a good tongue twister. Uh, so this is what it looks like uh, when you search for something. And, uh, you know, I have dark theme on or whatever. But here's the interesting thing. Cirques is not one particular site. It is free software that you could run on your own server or, you know, usually, you know, I don't run it on my own server yet. I'm thinking about it. But um, there is like a huge list of different instances of Cirques. If you go to Cirques.space, it will list out a bunch of instances and information about them, like where they are, uh, you know, your uh, the approximate search time from where you are, um, and other stuff like that. Okay, so I happen to be using this first one right here, but uh, you know, it actually changes which ones that at the top, usually at the top means the best. If you go down lower, it'll show like slower instances or stuff like that. Um, so anyway, Cirques. Let's let's talk about what it does. Now, here's the other thing about Cirques. It's not just this. It's not really a search engine. It is a well, as it says, a privacy respecting meta search engine. Because what it does is, you know, see that I've typed in here Cirques, or on this tab I searched for Linux. What it actually does is it takes that search term and it pulls a bunch of different um, search engines and gives you the results. Okay, if you're familiar with StartPage, StartPage does this just with Google. It's really just a front end for accessing Google if you don't want to directly use Google, so you don't want them spying on you. Cirques does that, but for way, like all these other search engines as well. Okay, so if you look at these results, let's actually look at them. Um, you know, uh, each one of them will say, okay, this one's from Wikidata, it's from Bing, and it's from DuckDuckGo. Uh, this runs from DuckDuckGo, Bing, and Wikipedia. And again, you're not directly accessing DuckDuckGo or Bing or any of that stuff. It is accessing those sites for you, okay? So it basically get, aggregates all those and sh displays them for you. And of course, it also has this stuff on the side. Um, you know, I think by default, it has like a Wikipedia tab thing. Um, or I assume that's Wikipedia, but uh, it'll have other stuff as well. Um, notice also there are different categories, okay? Uh, oh, and this down here is um, your search link if you need to use that, because um, you, as you can see it, well, anyway. Um, so if you look at these other tabs, it has other, you know, you can do images, for example, or let's go to, let's spice it up and go to Linux, or, or it looks like I already clicked on it and clicked back. Um, but you can click on different categories. Let's say we want images. It'll show me Linux images. Of course, it'll be very slow, not because of Cirques, but because I'm in a cabin in the middle of the woods. Um, so, and again, it will aggregate each of these from different image sites, okay? They have a tab that's called IT that does like Stack Overflow or ArchWiki or, or different sites like that, uh, GitHub, um, music, news. Uh, I don't think it works on the instance I'm on here, but there's also a files tab. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work on my instance. That's sometimes blocked on a bunch of different instances because what files is, it, is, it basically pulls a different pulls a bunch of different torrent sites. So you could search, if you have this on an instance that actually works, um, you could actually just search a movie title and it'll give you torrents for it. Um, so let's talk about um, how to customize it and stuff like that because the speecher, the speechers, the features in it are very special. Okay, now I'm gonna go to preferences. I have a couple things set already, um, you know, like uh, dark theme and stuff like that. Uh, you know, there's the style. Um, you can also, actually this reminds me, so for if you're, let's say you're looking for academic articles, you can automatically have it go through Sci-Hub to get rid of paywalls and stuff like that. That's something that it can do automatically. I think you actually have to enable that in plugins. 
which I don't have enabled. Okay. Um, so yeah, it has some plugins. It'll automatically do HTTPS if available, stuff like that. Get, gets rid of UR, um, you know, URL trackers and those stupid things that some sites do. Um, so it's very handy for all that. But let's look at the engines in particular. Okay, so um, on the engines page, you can actually, and again, these are the same tabs we saw before, like images, general, stuff like that. You can actually decide what sites you're looking at when you're doing a search. And again, remember, your, your computer is not contacting any of these sites. It's Cirques that is contacting them. So let's say I want, oh, I want the etymology of a word I look up. I'll turn on etym online. Um, let's say I'm looking for free books. I'll go to library genesis. Um, well, I'm not going to turn that on here because if you look on this right column, it'll actually show you the average time it takes to pull that site. Um, and this is really handy because, you know, let's say archive. Uh, well, this is an archive.org, but it's archive S, I S. Um, so, you know, there are some sites that might be really slow, like archive.org. Uh, so you might want to put a maximum time on them or something like that, or Cirques will usually put maximum times by default, but a lot of this you can change. Okay, so if you want to search for, let's say, just an image by itself, now I, I showed you, you can, you know, go here and click on images, but if you want to just search all your image sites, you can just say images, and then we'll look for, you know, Richard Stallman. Actually, it looks like I typed that in before just to make sure, you know. Um, so if I look for Richard Stallman, should have actually loaded it, so it wouldn't take forever on my uh, internet here. But uh, here, so here we have a bunch of pictures um, now, as well, you could search, and, and this is sort of like bank tags on um, DuckDuckGo, uh, in that, you know, you can type like, uh, I don't know, dollar sign, or not dollar sign, uh, exclamation point, um, I don't even know, WT to go to Wiktionary. That's one of the only ones I know on DuckDuckGo. But you can do the same stuff here. Um, let's say you, uh, you know, let's say we're on images or something like that. Let's say I specifically want to search Bing images. So the Bing shortcut, Bing images is B-I-I. -I. So I'm here and I'm just like, uh, give me a wallpaper, okay? Uh, and it's, so Cirques is just gonna pull Bing and get the Bing results and give you just those. Uh, so that's pretty convenient. And of course, that's not just for images, that's for any of these general searches. You know, let's say we, we want the etymology of, uh, what etymology do we want? Um, uh, I don't know, feather, okay. That should search etym online and uh, bring up, yeah, it'll bring up the results from that site. So, oh, look, let's look at the etymology of the word feather or something like that. Um, so it's a very nice equivalent to DuckDuckGo bang tags. Now I will say if you're, if you feel like, oh, I wish I had more of these, um, you know, like there's some sites that are on DuckDuckGo as bang tags, but they're not on Cirques. Um, usually what I do in this, actually I, I use in general is in your browser, whatever it is, I'm, you know, I'm on Brave, uh, but you can usually set up custom search engines with like keywords. So that's actually what I have here. Um, so I have a bunch of different, you know, if I type in bib, it'll go to Biblio and that's, you know, that's a book buying site or lib goes to library Genesis. If you want free PDFs of books, uh, other stuff like that, you know, ArchWiki, uh, things like that. Um, so if you don't see, you know, I, I know a lot of people are invested in like DuckDuckGo's bang tags. Yeah, Cirques sort of has an equivalent, but you know, worse comes the worst. You can always use your built-in browser features to do that. Um, okay, so let's see what else. So in general, yeah, Cirques has been very nice. Um, it's nice to be able to, um, you know, use different Cirques instances. Uh, I will say every once in a while, one of them will collapse or something. I mean, it might be that once I do this video and I said, oh, I was using this one, everyone uses it, and maybe that, you know, that's too much bandwidth for it. But it's nice because, you know, you can freely cert, uh, you know, switch to any one of these, set them as your default engine, and it works pretty much fine. And, um, you know, I, I'd sort of like to start my own instance at some point just to have it. Um, so I might do that in the future. Now, one additional thing, I will say if anyone's... I don't know, who develops Cirques. Um, one feature I'd really like is the ability to have a custom block list, okay? Uh, that, that might sound like something a little weird to say. Um, and the thing is, I, I will say, obviously, there's a safe search on Cirques, and that works pretty well. Like, if you search for images, um, you know, if you search for something that's maybe borderline, you're not going to get porn if you have uh, your safe search on. Uh, but aside from that, like, I'd like to just be able to block entire sites. Like, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, because a lot of times, you know, the thing is, like, Google, 
um, you know, even in Cirques, when you're using different uh, uh, search engines, some of those search engines like Google like strongly bias their uh, results in favor of particular sites. Um, but the thing is, like I, I don't care what CNN is going to say about this topic. I don't care what the SPLC has to say. I wish I could just block some sites, you know, like forced meme sites. That's what I mean. Mean or sites that like I know are never going to be useful or something. So that'd be a nice feature to add, like user block lists. Um, but aside from that, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's been. I, I, I definitely feel like Cirques gives me everything that any other search engine has given me uh, a lot more and a, a lot more customizability and stuff like that. Um, so go to Cirques.space, pick an instance, just pick one randomly, maybe someone, one that's physically close to you or something like that. Um, and uh, I'll, I might actually switch my instance, uh, but uh, you know, it's just, just play around with it. Um, the way to keep yourself safe from Google, still get better s search results and have a bunch of other features on top. Um, yep. So that's it. See you guys next time.